So if you are a wrestling fan and have wrestling belts in your room like I do, some of you might have them on bookshelves or on book stands. Me personally, I love hanging my belts up on the wall and all I use are some simple thumbtacks that I bought at Walmart. Crazy, right? I push them in the wall, I measure out how far apart the thumbtacks need to be, and then I easily just place my belt up on the wall. Easy to do, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Steven Hammer, and in today's video we are talking about how to display your belts up on the wall. Super easy, super cheap to do, and it's my favorite method to display my belts. I know there are a bunch of ways you can display your belts. You can get detolf cases, such as this one right here. This picture was sent in by Dustin King. Um, I asked him if I could use this picture. He totally gave me his blessing. And this is how Dustin King sets up his belts right here. You can buy detolf cases at Ikea. I think they're about 60 bucks uh, each, each rack or each row. So uh, if you have a lot of belts, you will need more cases. Obviously, it looks really, really good. It looks beautiful. But in my opinion, I like to save as much space as I can. And I might as well put my belts up on the wall because it looks really cool as a background as well. So you can get detolf cases and light them up. You can also put them up on bookshelves, dressers, things like that. I've done that in the past. But then when you get more belts, you need more book stands. And I'm just like, oh, now I gotta buy another book stand. Now, all I have to do is go out to the store and buy thumbtacks and all of my belts can easily be on the wall and I love the way it looks. And I know what some of you guys are thinking, thumbtacks? Really? Yes, really. Thumbtacks, went to Walmart and bought some of these, I think it was like five bucks for a bunch of thumbtacks. And it is super easy to do, let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I measure out the snaps on the thumbtacks. I actually have this little playing card. Uh, you can use a business card, playing card, whatever you want. And on the sides of the playing card, I have uh, the measurements of how far the snaps are. Um, that way I know how far to put, place the thumbtacks on the wall. So for this example, I have on, the, on this side right here, it says WWE slash Fight Night Belts. That is how far apart the thumbtacks need to be on the wall so i made this little template i could lay this on the wall and you could see where this WWE title it's actually the, the uh, WWE spinner the snaps are right there boom and boom so when i take this card and i go to put it on the wall i know how far apart i need to place the snaps on the or the thumbtacks on the wall so one will go right there and one will go on the other side so that is how I use to measure my snap, or to measure my thumbtacks. There we go. And that's this is all I use. I have my WWE Fight Night belts on one side, my Nawaz belts. But since I have two of those belts, I have two Nawaz belts, and they're they're differently spaced each one. And there is Mateen's right there. So measure out your snaps and put like a little dot on a playing card or a business card, whatever, and then go up to your wall and figure out how far apart your thumbtacks need to be. So you can put one there and right there. That way when you grab your belt, you can easily just hang your belt, boom, right on the wall. It's really easy. Take your belts down, measure how far they need to be. And uh, man, it's super easy and I, I do this all the time. And I know some of you guys are questioning thumbtacks. Do thumbtacks really hold heavy belts like the spinner? Yes, they do. I've actually held the uh, IWGP US that one was made by Mateen. That was probably my heaviest belt in my collection at the time. And uh, the thumbtacks held the belt perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, I have thumbtacks over here right now. And I'm actually going to hang the uh, spinner belt. I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is and how quick this is. Check this out, here we go. And just like that, the spinner is on the wall. Easy to do, I mean, it, you don't have to worry about anything. As long as your thumbtack is in the wall all the way, perfectly easy for everyone to do. You know, I'm not gonna take too long on how to hang your belts up on the wall. It's pretty simple to do. I mean, just measure your, your uh, thumbtacks apart and uh, and you're, it's really just that easy. I do wanna talk about this Fiend mask I got though. Holy crap. As you guys know, I love the Fiend character. Um, my buddy Raymond sent me this cool Fiend picture. Um, David sent me this cool eBay mask. 
Uh, this is not like the one that you can get off WWE shop. This is an actual custom fiend mask. Uh, I think he bought it for a hundred bucks. Um, it's what he told me. And uh, he bought it and then he was like, man, you're a big fan of the fiend. So I want to send it to you. And uh, completely caught, caught me off guard and I was like, hell yeah. Oh man, I love this so much. If you guys follow me in any kind of like wrestling groups, you guys know that I wore this mask and I, I love it because I love The Fiend. I actually have his action figure on pre-order from Ringside Collectibles right now. I think it comes out uh, next month, so I'm pretty excited for that. So what do you guys say? Should we uh, try this on? I think so. And it just goes on with Velcro. Look at that. Oh man. So easy to wear. It's comfortable. Doesn't bother me at all. To me, this is probably one of the best looking fiend masks out there. Um, I wish I could tell you guys where to buy it, but I really have no idea. A lot of people have asked me where to buy this. And I don't know if the eBay store is open anymore. Um, so you may just have to go on like Pinterest or like Etsy. Um, because I know the eBay masks, some of them just look eh. And the WWE shop masks just look awful. There's one version that's plastic, then there's one version that is like the rubber silicone material like this one, but it's got like really weird like folds in the ears where it sticks out like this, and I don't know why, but this one feels really comfortable, and I like it a lot. Like I said, what do you guys think of it? Looks really good. And it just Velcros in the back, just like this, got like a Velcro. It has snaps on it, but the snaps don't do anything. It's just there for look. You just Velcro up behind your head. Boom. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Thank you so much, David. I love this thing. I've I've told you thank you so many times, and uh, I'll thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> so that's really all I got. I mean, just go to your local Walmart and pick out some of these push pin thumbtacks. Don't get the regular ones that like the Undertaker truck Sam Nick Foley through. <laughs> don't get those. Get the actual ones with like the heads on them. Stick them into your wall all the way. Don't don't just let them go in just a little bit. Stick them in all the way. And uh, a lot of people use this method, and uh, I love it. I think it looks great with the belt behind too. Or really cool in pictures. So get yourself some. Ooh. So get yourself some thumb packs. There we go. Cool. If you guys like boat videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to upload new videos every single week. And with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Also in the comments, let me know how you guys display your belts. Alright, peace.